Welcome to a journey through some of the most harrowing tunnels in the world. These tunnels challenge not only engineering but also the courage of those who pass through them due to their extreme environments and associated dangers. Imagine the pressure of tons of rock above you, the chilling depths of the ocean floor or the dizzying heights of a mountain pass. So buckle up, hold your breath and prepare for a white knuckle ride as we explore the world's most terrifying tunnels. Our first descent takes us deep into the heart of the Swiss Alps, to the Gotthard Base Tunnel. This engineering marvel is the longest and deepest traffic tunnel in the world, stretching over 35 miles and plunging over 2.3 kilometers beneath the peaks. Driving through the Gotthard is like a descent into the Earth's belly. It takes almost 20 minutes to traverse its length, where the only sound is the hum of your engine and the pounding of your heart. Even knowing the engineering marvel that surrounds you, it's hard not to feel a primal fear in the pit of your stomach. The mountain above feels alive, the pressure immense. It makes you realize just how insignificant we are in the face of nature's raw power. But it's not just the depth, it's the isolation. Should anything go wrong in this subterranean world, you're trapped. The Gothard Base Tunnel is a testament to human ingenuity, but it's also a stark reminder of the unforgiving environments we dare to conquer. From the depths of the earth we surface briefly before plunging again, this time beneath the waves. The Seikan Tunnel connects Honshu and Hokkaido, stretching over 33 miles, 14 of which run beneath the seabed. Imagine the crushing weight of seawater above you, trapped in a steel tube at the mercy of the ocean. The Seikan Tunnel is a marvel of engineering, but it's not for the faint of heart. Emerging from the depths of the Seikan, we find ourselves in Norway facing a different kind of challenge. The Lerdal Tunnel, the longest road tunnel in the world. At over 15 miles long, it's a psychological marathon, a test of endurance against the monotony of concrete and artificial light. The sheer length of the Lerdal Tunnel can play tricks on your mind. The lack of natural light, the repetitive patterns of the tunnel walls, it can induce a state of almost hypnotic trance. The Lerdal Tunnel may not present the immediate physical dangers of the Gotthard or the Seikan, but it poses a different kind of challenge. A test of mental fortitude against the oppressive monotony of a world without horizons. From the depths and lengths of man-made marvels, we come to a tunnel carved not by machines, but by sheer human grit. High in the Taihang Mountains of China, the Guoliang Tunnel is a testament to human resilience and a stark reminder of the dangers of the past. Imagine this, a narrow, roughly hewn passage barely wide enough for a single car, carved into the side of a sheer cliff face. No heavy machinery, no modern tools, just the back-breaking labor of 13 villagers armed with hammers, chisels, and dynamite. The Guoliang Tunnel is not for the faint of heart. It's a white-knuckle drive with sheer drops on one side and towering rock walls on the other. Light filters in through the roughly hewn windows carved into the cliff face, casting dancing shadows that play on your nerves. This is a tunnel where every meter was hard won, a testament to the human spirit's ability to overcome even the most daunting obstacles. We leave the hand-carved dangers of the Gualiang and journey to the rocky mountains of Colorado, where the Eisenhower Tunnel cuts through the Continental Divide. At over 11,000 feet above sea level, it's one of the highest vehicular tunnels in the world, and it's a beast when the weather turns. The Eisenhower Tunnel is located in avalanche country, and when the snow comes down, it comes down hard. The roar of an avalanche is deafening, a terrifying symphony of nature's raw power, Blizzards can whip up in an instant at this altitude, burying the entrances to the tunnel in thick snowdrifts. The Eisenhower Tunnel is a vital artery through the Rockies, but it's also a stark reminder that even the most modern engineering marvels are at the mercy of the raw, untamed power of the mountains. From near the avalanche-prone Rockies, we ascend further to the roof of the world, the Himalayas. Here, amidst the towering peaks and glaciers, India is carving a path through the treacherous Zojila Pass. The Zojila Tunnel, once completed, will be a lifeline for the region, but it's being carved through some of the most unstable terrain on Earth. Imagine this. You're driving through the tunnel, the air thin and cold, 
the silence broken only by the hum of your engine. Above you, tons of rock and ice hang precariously, a constant threat. The Zogila Pass is notorious for its landslides and avalanches. The Himalayas are young mountains, constantly shifting and groaning, and the Zogila Tunnel cuts right through the heart of this geological maelstrom. Even with the best engineering, the threat of nature's fury is constant. A sudden rockfall, a tremor in the earth, an avalanche roaring down the slopes. These are the dangers faced by those who dare to conquer the Zogila. The Zogila Tunnel, once completed, will be a testament to human ambition and ingenuity. We leave the towering Himalayas and descend into the heart of Austria to the Arlberg Road Tunnel. This eight-mile-long tunnel cutting through the Arlberg mountain range may not be the longest or the deepest, but it holds a different kind of terror, a darkness steeped in history and whispers of tragedy. The Arlberg Road Tunnel has seen its share of accidents, of lives lost in the darkness. Every bend in the road, every flicker of light, seems to whisper of past tragedies. The tunnel is a confined space, amplifying every sound. The drone of your engine, the rhythmic thump of your tires on the asphalt, even your own breathing seems amplified, echoing back at you from the darkness. Local legends speak of ghostly apparitions, of flickering lights and disembodied voices, of a darkness that seems to hold on to the memories of past tragedies. Whether you believe in such tales or not, there's no denying the eerie atmosphere of the Arlberg Road Tunnel. From the haunted darkness of the Arlberg, we journey to the heights of the Bolivian Andes, to a road so treacherous it's earned the chilling moniker Death Road. The North Jungers Road, with its sheer drops and unforgiving terrain, is a challenge for even the most experienced drivers. And within this treacherous path lie tunnels that amplify the danger tenfold. Imagine this. You're driving along a narrow dirt road carved into the side of a mountain. The air is thin the drop-offs sheer, and then you enter a tunnel. Darkness engulfs you, but this is not the darkness of a smooth, modern passage. These tunnels are rough, unlit, and often barely wide enough for one vehicle. The rock walls close in, damp and slick with condensation. Water drips from the ceiling, each drop echoing like a drumbeat in the confined space. Every turn in the tunnel is a blind gamble. The North Jungers Road tunnels are not a journey, they're a test of survival. We leave the treacherous death road and journey to the highest paved international road in the world, the Karakoram Highway. This engineering marvel, snaking its way through the Karakoram mountain range is a testament to human ambition. But nestled amongst its breathtaking beauty are tunnels that pose a unique set of challenges. Imagine this, you're driving along the highway, surrounded by towering peaks and glaciers that seem to claw at the sky. The air is thin, the altitude dizzying, and then you enter a tunnel. The darkness is immediate, a stark contrast to the blinding snow and ice outside. These tunnels carved through solid rock offer a different kind of danger. The altitude, already challenging, can wreak havoc on engines and oxygen levels. The air inside the tunnels is often thick with exhaust fumes, making every breath a laboured effort. Driving through the Karakoram Highway Tunnels is like playing a high-stakes game with nature. Our final descent takes us back to Europe, to the Mont Blanc Tunnel, an 11.6 kilometer or 7.2 mile long tunnel connecting France and Italy beneath the Mont Blanc Massif. This engineering marvel, once a symbol of progress and cooperation, is now haunted by the memory of a tragedy that shook the world. Imagine this. You enter the tunnel, the air thick with the smell of exhaust fumes and a palpable sense of unease. The date is March 24th, 1999. A transport truck carrying flour and margarine catches fire. It seems like an ordinary accident, but within minutes the tunnel transforms into an inferno. The fire raged for 53 hours, trapping dozens of vehicles and their occupants inside. 39 people lost their lives in the Mont Blanc Tunnel fire, a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the unforgiving nature of such confined spaces. Today the tunnel has been rebuilt with state-of-the-art safety features, but the memory of the tragedy lingers, a ghostly presence that haunts every journey through its depths. These tunnels, each a marvel of engineering in its own right, 
stand as testaments to human ambition and our relentless pursuit of conquering nature's obstacles. They connect us, transport us, and allow us to access the farthest corners of our planet. But they also serve as stark reminders of the risks we take, the dangers we face, and the respect we must pay to the forces of nature that surround us. Would you dare to travel through any of these harrowing passages? Would you test your mettle against the darkness, the depths, and the sheer power of the Earth itself? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more thrilling content.